Hello everybody, uh, welcome to a new episode of Low Code Corner. Um, every Monday morning uh, you have a new video, short video, um, related to a very specific problem you might face um, during the development of a database application. The videos uh, in this series, uh, as you probably uh, know, are um, more informal than the classic uh, uh, presentation videos and the other videos mm, available on this channel. Uh, basically, once a week, uh, I pick from a long list of topics I want to discuss uh, one of the topic, uh, I write uh, on a piece of paper the few points I want to discuss. Uh, I prepare a database installation if needed, and that's it. Then I I start to uh, to talk uh, and I uh, record the episode. So there's almost no scripting uh, or post production activity. So forgive me if again it's not as uh, formal or structured as uh, some other videos in this channel. Uh, forgive me if it's maybe a bit slow, uh, but you know, that's the only option uh, uh, I have to produce uh, um, weekly content. Um, typically here, I discuss about uh, uh, topics related to the questions I receive very often from uh, um, database users. Um, in this episode, uh, however, um, I, I just want to give you uh, a suggestion. Um, I'm, I'm showing you uh, a feature that I think is not very popular among uh, database installations, but I, I think is very, very powerful. Um, I'm talking about uh, embedding some uh, uh, data table, um, data report, uh, graph reports, uh, or uh, pivot tables uh, generated in Databeak into another website, such as a uh, WordPress website. So let's say that uh, in your uh, information system, uh, there are a few elements. Uh, for example, there is a uh, um, a WordPress uh, uh, website uh, used by your customers or maybe also your business partners. And uh, you also have uh, um, a database application uh, where your employees can work uh, uh, with your company's uh, database, uh, let's say. So the database containing uh, uh, orders, uh, customers, uh, products, uh, all this kind of information, okay? Um, and uh, your employees uh, can work uh, with this data. So they can manage the data and they can also generate uh, uh, reports, uh, dashboards, and so on and so forth using the database application you have created. So let's say you want to... Um, so let's look at the orders table here, where we have all the orders uh, uh, received. And uh, let's uh, generate a chart, starting from here. Uh, a very simple chart uh, based on the customer, for example, a bar chart, okay? A simple report. And this is our, um, our chart. Uh, let's say that we want to take this chart and we want to embed this chart into our public website. All right. Uh, well, of course, you can just copy the picture, uh, right click on the picture, save uh, image as, and use the picture in your WordPress website. But this is not what we want to do because uh, if you do that, Basically, if um, the, the data uh, changes, uh, the picture you have on your website, uh, and since we are talking about orders, uh, the data is changing uh, 
um, every day basically maybe every uh, minute uh, depending on the kind of a uh, uh, business you have um, so if the data changes in your uh, database uh, of course uh, the picture you have on your website uh, won't reflect anymore the actual data uh, we want to publish a sort of uh, live uh, graph so a graph that would change if the uh, related data uh, changes if you reload the page on the WordPress uh, website okay so how can we do that we just we, we, we can just use this show embed code uh, feature that allows you to take this code copy this code and paste it in another HTML page for example the um, WordPress uh, the page of the of your uh, WordPress website to embed this graph into that page okay um, well one thing I, I that is uh, probably uh, worth uh, mentioning is the fact that show embed code uh, is displayed only if you are logged in as an admin user so we copy this code and then uh, I already um, built a, a number sales by uh, customer page on WordPress uh, with some uh, um, text to describe the content of the page I just want to add uh, the code here so this is our page right now just the title and some text I'll add here uh, the, the code update and uh, here we go we have the graph in our WordPress page and uh, uh, let's have a look at, at the data um, for example Technogym this customer has uh, um, so it's not number of sales it's the uh, percentage uh, but it doesn't matter uh, so Technogym has 20.73% of the, of the sales uh, let's go back here to the um, sales and let's try to delete one of the sales a Technogym sale okay deleted and uh, let's reload uh, the page and as you can see now the um, percentage has changed because has changed because the um, the data has changed in the database all right um, so what can happen um, right now I'm seeing uh, the 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 graph uh, correctly because I'm logged in in my database application as well and uh, the um, the user uh, the, the root user that um, I'm using right now uh, has the right permission the read permission uh, on the table um, orders that that is the table we are using okay but what if I just uh, log out here if I log out here I won't see the uh, graph because I don't have um, the, the, the needed permissions uh, how can you fix this um, you can use the public the database public user that is um, an additional feature that you can use if you want to make part of your website sorry part of your database application available to unlocked user um, there are some uh, security implications here so 
I would like to uh, add a few notes uh, in the about this uh, in the um, description of the of the video. So please read uh, uh, those additional notes I will I will write. Um, what else? Well, we uh, we added we embedded. Uh, um, a graph report, but you can add uh, a pivot table, you can add a results grid, so a data table in uh, your uh, WordPress website. And of course, WordPress was just an example because it's a very popular um, platform, but you can um, embed your uh, your graphs or or whatever you, you, you can embed also in any general HTML page okay uh, all right so that's it for for this episode uh, as usual if you have questions uh, uh, you can ask your questions uh, uh, in the comments uh, section or um, or post on uh, our uh, forum uh, that's it see you next time ciao